All right. This is uh, the second noun video in a series of three noun videos. The first noun video dealt with finding the noun. This noun video deals with the different types of nouns. As you can see, there are quite a few types of nouns on the screen here, and I've tried to arrange them in a way that at least is uh, mnemonically helpful. Uh, you see there's four C's, two P's, two S's, and one A, if that helps at all. What most students find to be most helpful, though, is pairing them up, because usually a noun will be one or the other. So we have common. A noun can be common, or it can be proper. A noun, a noun can be concrete, or it can be abstract. A noun can be plural, or it can be singular. A noun can be compound, or it can be single, or a noun could be collective. So a noun can be concrete, I mean common and abstract, as well as being plural and single. It can be all of these things, uh, but it's, all, it's going to be on one side or the other. And so it helps to remember them as pairs. So we're going to look at them individually, and so you can at least come up with some idea of what I'm talking about here. So a proper noun, this is something that, uh, that will always be capitalized. It's going to name a particular person, place, thing, or an idea. And usually they're very easy to spot in the sentence, quite frankly, because of that capitalization. So let's look at a couple here. So we have, um, just from the capitalized letters, Mark and his parents went to the Black American West Museum and Heritage Center in Denver. So we have Mark, capitalized, 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 capitalized. Now, um, just by that alone, I know that this is a proper noun because that's someone's name. Uh, this is all one title, this right here. Titles are capitalized. They do count as a single noun, so that is one large proper noun. Let's look at this next one. Uh, these items are found from the collection of Paul Stewart, the man who founded the museum. Well, these are the only capitalized nouns in the sentence, uh, and it is someone's name, so it is proper. So pretty easy to identify a proper noun. Let's look at something a little bit uh, oddly enough, because common nouns, um, because they don't have that identifier of a capital letter, usually you might have to use some strategy to find them. So <clears throat> looking at this first one, uh, these are just still person, place, things, or idea. They're just not capitalized. And so therefore, because they're so general, they can be sometimes stuff. So uh, we have this capitalized one here. We know that's not a, a common noun, but we have, we look for things uh, in the sentence. And, but also it helps to say, you know, if you have a nice verb here, Mark saw what, and what answers that question? Saddles, knives, hats, lariats, they're all common objects, they're all common nouns. Let's look at this next one. The museum is located in an old house that is listed in the National Register of Historic Places. So clearly we already have a title here. We know that's a proper noun, so we don't need to deal with that right now. So the museum is located in an old house that is listed. That is listed. Um, so let's see. We have uh, the museum. We have remember way to find a noun. We have the is indicating museum. Uh, in what this is the object of a phrase, and uh, and of course in we have this pointing to that one. So museum, it is a common noun because one is not capitalized. It's naming a particular place common. Uh, we have house. It is a, a non-specific house. It is an old house, but that's still not very specific, common. All right, and those are the only two common nouns in this list. Pretty easy to find if you go through the idea of using articles to find something or the object of a phrase. This is a prepositional phrase. There it is. And even this would have been found with either the object of a prepositional phrase, in what, or it is set off by an article. So this actually, this long proper, proper noun works for both. All right. Concrete noun. Again, a concrete noun is something that um, you can detect with your senses. So they can be both proper or common. It is just something that you can detect with your senses. So let's find the nouns in this sentence first. So the house once belonged to Dr. Justina L. Fort. So we have this nice article here pointing to house. We have capital letters all along here. This is someone's name. So this is a proper noun, right? This is something that is not capitalized. So this is a common noun. 
but are they concrete? Can you detect them with your senses? Can you detect a house? Absolutely. So this would also be concrete as well as this one. You can detect Dr. Justina L. Ford, so she is also concrete. Let's look at this next one. She was the first black female physician in Colorado. So let's find the nouns here. Okay, we've got a nice article here, and that's pointing to the first black female physician, right? These are all adjectives. First physician, black physician, female physician, right? So we clearly got physician is a noun. In preposition pointing to Colorado. So we have another noun, object of a phrase. So it's physician. It's not capitalized, so therefore we know that it is common. Right? Can you detect a physician with your senses? Absolutely. You can see them, hear them, whatnot. So we know that it is concrete. Colorado, <clears throat> it, we know that it is proper because it is capitalized. And we also can detect Colorado with our senses. So we also know that it is concrete. All right, so let's look at this next sentence. Mark was amazed by all of the old medical instruments in one display. All right, so finding the nouns, we have mark, proper. Uh, we have by, so we have a preposition there. So let's find what preposition of what? By what? Instruments. Another easy way to look. We have the is also pointing to instruments, right? The instruments. This is old instruments, medical instruments. Um, in preposition, it's going to be pointing to something. It's going to be pointing to display, right? In display. So let's look at what we have here. Mark, capitalized, it's someone's name, definitely proper. Can we detect Mark? Yes, he is concrete. Uh, we have instruments. Instruments is not proper. It's not capitalized, so we know it's common. Can we detect instruments? Absolutely, so we know they're concrete. We have display, not capitalized, so we know it's common. Can we detect a display? Absolutely, we know it is concrete. Now, I know that's going off your screen, but you'll just have to trust me that I'm spelling it. All right, so let's look at the next thing here. We have the idea of an abstract noun. Now, an abstract noun, it names an idea, a feeling, a quality, a characteristic. These are particularly difficult for students to find unless you're using some sort of strategy. But once you find them and you've identified them, then suddenly you have a much better idea. So let's go through and find these first. So the principal asked all the students to think about the importance of friendship. All right, so we have the, pointing to principal, the, pointing to students, think about, uh, think about is a preposition, and the is an article. They're both pointing to importance, about importance and the importance. Uh, and then of, preposition pointing to friendship. Right, so we know we have a noun here, we have a noun here, we have a noun here, and we have a noun here. Let's look through them. Principle, not capitalized, so we know it's common, right? Can we detect this principle by our senses? Yes, so we know he's concrete. Uh, so he is not an abstract noun. Let's look at students. We know it's common. Uh, we also know they're concrete, so we can detect the students. We haven't found an abstract one yet. Let's look at this one. Importance. We know it's a noun because it's being set off by the, and it's the object of a preposition. So we know it's a noun. Can we, is it, is it capitalized? It is not capitalized, so we know it's not proper. It's common. But can we touch something that's important? I mean, can we touch the idea of importance? And the fact that it is an idea lets us know that it is abstract. I'm just going to abbreviate that. Friendship. We know it's not capitalized, so it must be common. And also, we can't detect friendship with our senses. It is something, it's an idea that we discern with our uh, mentally, uh, so it is abstract. All right, let's look at the next one. Uh, that is supposed to be at, at spelling. All right, so he looked at the pile of money with greed in his eyes, and then he tried to grab it. So let's look for the way we can think of. We have the and at, two things pointing to pile, right? And we have of, preposition pointing to money. And we have with, it's a preposition pointing to greed. 
we have in is a preposition pointing to eyes, and then we have, uh, well, that's, that's pretty much it from the nouns we have in the sentence. So let's look at them. Uh, we have pile. Pile is common, right? It's not capitalized. Uh, it is concrete because we can touch a pile. You can see the pile. Uh, we have money, which is common, not capitalized. And you can detect money with your senses, so it is also concrete. Greed. It is, we know it's common because it's, it's not capitalized. But you can't detect greed with your senses. It is a mental characteristic, so we know that this part is also abstract. Eyes, it's common, it's not capitalized, so we know it's not proper, and it is concrete because we can detect eyes with our senses. So, let's move on to the next one. He patted his full stomach with satisfaction after he finished eating his dinner. So, uh, he patted what, we haven't gotten to that, but this is full, is modifying stomachs, we have an adjective here. Um, here is a preposition, modifying satisfaction, and uh, we have... Uh, his, which is, I know it is a pronoun, but it's a possessive pronoun. It is acting like an adjective modifying dinner. So let's go through this. Um, uh, stomach is, we know that it is common. We know that we can detect it. So it is both common and concrete. Uh, with, I mean, with satisfaction, we know satisfaction is common, but you can't Discern satisfaction with your senses, so we know it is abstract. Dinner, common, but we also know that you can detect dinner, hopefully, with your senses, so it's both common and concrete. So let's move on to the next one here. <clears throat> compound. Now, compound nouns are much more complicated than the other ones because a compound noun is essentially two nouns that have been put together in some way. They can be the same word, they can be hyphenated, or... They can be separate words that are always associated together. So let's just look for the, the more complicated words. So we have, uh, well, there's proper uh, noun there. Um, a is going to be pointing to dragonfly. A is going to be pointing to goldfish. And then A is going to be pointing to pet. We have um, uh, the pointing to goldfish. And then we have his, which is acting like an adjective, to cat. All right, so we have multiple nouns in this sentence. All right, so let's see here. Um, not compound is not made of two different nouns. Dragonfly, absolutely. We have dragonfly, compound noun. Uh, we have gold and fish, two compound nouns. It's a com I mean, two nouns that have been put together, definitely compound fish. And then, of course, we have goldfish again. So let's try this one. The drummer needed new drumsticks, so his band bought him a bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken. All right, so we have the, pointing to drummer, uh, needed uh, new is an adjective pointing to drumsticks. So we have a is pointing to bucket, and then of, preposition, pointing to this long title here. So let's look at these things. Drummer is just one noun. There's no second noun there, so that is not compound. Drum and sticks, that is two separate nouns that have been put together. So we have a compound noun. Bucket, no, that is not two separate things put together. But Kentucky Fried Chicken. All right, this is, because it's a title, it's considered one noun, and it is two or more words that are not hyphenated but nevertheless associated together. So this counts as a compound noun. Titles typically are, especially if there's more than one word in the title. Let's look at the hidden classroom was filled with cobwebs. All right, so we have class and room, compound noun. We have cob and webs. Now, these are two separate nouns. Cob, I am sure at one point represented something with it, but nevertheless, two compound nouns in that sentence as well. Now, collective noun. This is sort of the funkiest of all nouns. This is a singular, it's singular in form, but names a group of persons, animals, or things. So we're looking for groups of things. So we have, and I'm going quickly so we can get in under 15 minutes. Orchestra is a group of musicians, but it's a single name. Uh, herd is a group of goats. Uh, faculty is a group of teachers pity their souls, and we have a crash, that's a group of rhinos, and a murder is a group of crows. All right.
I hope you enjoyed it.